What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, yeah, guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Synth Anthology 4 by UVI. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But with no further delay, let's get right into this plugin, baby. Oosh. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, so Synth Anthology 4 is basically the newest version of the Synth Anthology family. Um, they have updated the GUI. It is currently on sale right now for an intro price of $89. But if you already have Synth Anthology 3, uh, you can upgrade for just $49. Um, basically, this plugin emulates over 200 different synthesizers. There's 4,000 different layers in here and 500 other presets. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, as you guys can see here, it's got an updated GUI. Um, with this, um, each one of the presets has two different layers on it. Um, so right here, you can go back and forth for the layers. So boom, bam, just like that, uh, how much of each layer you want. Um, with this too, um, as you see here, you can turn off each layer if you want to. Um, you have settings up here. Um, and these settings are gonna control your layer, your amplitude, uh, your filter, your pitch and your voicing. Um, over here, you can control the voices, the detune, all that good stuff. And then with each layer, you can come into here and hit your effects. And then bam, you have different effects here. So you have a wave shaper, you have a flanger, um, you have chorus, you have phaser, you have an equalizer, and then you have your effects sins right here. And then we can come over here and hit the main and it'll take us back to the main section right here. And we also have different effects that we can hit right here. So boom, bam, you have more effects under the hood. Um, so as you see here, you have spark verb, you have convolver, you have dual delay and you have feedback. What's nice about this is dual delay and spark verb are paid plugins. Um, you also have a sequencer right here that you can use. So boom, you can click to enable that just like that. Um, and you can mess with an arpeggiator and stuff like that um, to get different sounds or to mess with your art. Um, you also have AB controls. So you have AB controls over um, each one of the sounds that you can, you know what I'm saying? You can manipulate like that. So. I made a couple sample beats for this demonstration. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play um, a sample beat, play some presets, play another sample beat, and then play some more presets for you guys. Um, this beat's not all the way mixed down, but I've been kind of making different kind of beats lately. So this one isn't the typical beat that I make on this channel, but let's go. All right, guys, so that's the sample little beat that I put together for you guys today. All the sounds in that were all sounds from EVI as far as the melodic pieces, the bass and everything like that. There's no other third party effects or VSTs or anything like that on the mix bus. Um, so let's go ahead and hop back in uh, to Synth Anthology 4 and check out some of these presets. Um, so as we look here, some things I forgot to mention are down here, you have um, different similar presets. So like, like, let's say I have this sound right here. But if I want to, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. I'm gonna push play again real quick. But if I click on one of these dots down here, it's gonna change up the synth and everything right here. And then you'll notice right here, it's gonna tell you basically um, what synth that they emulated or modeled right here. Um, so let's go ahead and push play. That one might not have been the closest. <laughs> but let's go ahead and hit another one. <laughs> 
So as you guys can see right there, you're just gonna get different uh, sounds or maybe different ideas that can get you going real quick on the go. I didn't mention down here as well that there are different macros. Um, so you have one for tone, you have one for phaser, you have one for crush or your bit crusher. Um, you also have one for cloud, so it's kind of like a shimmer reverb. Um, and then you have feedback right here as well. So let's go ahead and go to the next preset. And I'm just gonna scroll through some so that you can hear what they sound like. So those are all some pretty solid bell sounding uh, presets. As you look here, um, you know, you can see you got a bunch of different uh, presets. So you got best of, you got arpeggiated, you got bass, bells, brass, fretted, effects, keyboard, organ, pad, pluck, pulses, strings, synth leads, voice, winds, MPE. Um, and then Venus Theory has made some himself as well. So let's go ahead and go through some more sounds. Uh, next up, I wanna go ahead and skip on over to keyboard. Uh, so we got keys right here. Uh, here's some of the keys. Oh, and I forgot to mention down here is a little LFO. So you can turn this up and it's gonna go back and forth between uh, both of the layers. So you guys can see clear as day how it made it sound a little bit different. All right guys, so next up, I wanna play another sample beat for you guys today. Again, the same as the other beat, all the sounds from this came from Synth Anthology 4, um, even the bass. The only thing that wasn't from there was just the drums. Um, so again, this isn't all the way mixed down, but let's go.
So that was the second little sample beat that I had for you guys today. I'm gonna go ahead and hop back in here and play a few more presets for you guys. I'm not gonna play too many, because again, there's 500 of them and there's 4,000 different layers. Um, but here's some of the plucks from the plugin. I'm gonna go ahead and play a couple organs for you guys now. <laughs> You're not even gonna tell me that one's not fire. That, that is super solid. It's very solid sound. So very solid sounds in my personal opinion. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up and just listen to some of Venus's um, presets real quick. He's got some pretty good arps and some nice pulses in here. Um, that's kind of what I like from uh, his, his, his little uh, presets. Um, but here's some of them, let's go. That one sounds quite evil. Let's go ahead and check out just a few of these pulses real quick. So we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna scroll down and then just check out some of these pulses. Um, and what I'm gonna do for the pulses is I'm gonna make them go up an octave. Uh, so shift C and then up, boom. All right, guys, so that's what I got for you guys today. I guess, what are my thoughts on Synth Anthology 4? Um, I personally think it's pretty fire. I mean, you guys see, I made a couple beats. One was completely different than my genre or style. In my opinion, it came out good. If I'm wrong and it was trash, let me know down in the comments. Um, again, for what the 79 or the 89 for the intro price, that's not bad at all. I think it's 89 for the intro price. And then if you already have a copy of the previous version, 49 for the upgrades, not bad at all. You're gonna get a ton of sounds. You're gonna get sounds that you can use with anything. Obviously, it's gonna be a bunch of, bunch of synthy sounds, uh, but the sounds do sound good. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell, so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one.
Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.